Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a full face of first impressions using Benefit Cosmetics. So I was lucky enough to receive this big bag full of Benefit products when I met with the lovely girls from Benefit up in Sydney. So this bag is full of products that I've never used, so I'm pretty excited to try them all out. If you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep watching. So firstly, I'm going to start by using the Pore Professional Pro Balm to minimize the appearance of pores. So I use this quite regularly, but it's definitely one of my favorite primers to minimize the pores that I have on my face. So I'm just going to pop that. I usually get the most pores around my T-zone, so I'm going to pop that wherever I feel it needs to be. So for foundation, I've never ever ever used this, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm using the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow SPF 25 Brightening Makeup. So this is the foundation I'm using it in the shade Beige. This is what it looks like, this is what the packaging looks like. I think it's super cute, so let's just give it a go. Already love it because it does have a pump applicator. So I'm just going to put a few pumps. And I'm using a brush to apply that. So far it's looking quite nice. It is quite, I wouldn't say it's a full coverage, I would definitely say it's a medium coverage and you kind of do have to build the coverage up, but we'll do the rest of our face and see how we go. Okay, so that's my face with one layer of this foundation. For me personally, I do like my full coverage foundation, so I'm going to go in with a little bit more and patch up where I need more coverage so I have some breakouts around my mouth. So I'm going to just add a little bit more in the places that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. So to conceal and brighten, I am going in with the Erased Paste. So this is in the shade number one, Fair. So I believe this is for brightening and camouflaging dark circles and brightening up under your eyes. So that's what I'm going to try and use that for. So it comes with this cute little mini spatula. So I'm going to dig out a little bit, just like so. Pop it on the back of my hand and use my ring finger to pop that. Under my eye. It was definitely really thick in consistency, but what I can see it's very brightening. So, so far my impression of this product is it is very full coverage and it is very thick so it's quite hard to blend away and it does say to use your ring finger which is what I'm doing but what I might do is go in with my damp beauty sponge here and see if that so my first impression of that product is I actually quite like it and I do like it better when I've gone over it with this damp beauty sponge it is definitely at covering the dark circles I kind of think that the more you blend it out the more it blends out the brightening of the product which doesn't always mean that's a bad thing some people don't really like that whole under eye brightening thing but I do so but no I quite like it. it is very like it is very full coverage so you'd need to set it quite quickly before they crease too much so next to continue this brightening process, I was given the Dandelion Shy Beam, which is a nude pink matte radiance highlighter and I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. So I'm going to give it a go. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. So it just says Dandelion Shy Beam on the bottle. And it actually has like a little brush applicator thing. So I'm going to pop a bit of this under my eyes and see how we go. I'm 
Oh my god, the brush feels like it's like tickling my under eyes. <laughs> On another note, the good thing that it is like a peachy pinky color is so that we can counteract that darkness under our eyes. So I'm just gonna use my Real Technique sponge to blend that out. Love it. I love it. Yeah, I really like that product. So as you can see, this beauty sponge actually hasn't soaked up much of that product at all, which is a good thing. So all that product has kind of been like pushed into my skin. So I really like that for the under eye brightening area. Because it's not too thick, it's so easy to blend, it doesn't look too cakey on the face. I am going to quickly set that under eye concealer area and I don't have a powder by benefit that is translucent. I'm going to quickly go in with my Rimmel Match Perfection translucent powder just to bake a little bit under that eye. So I'm just going to quickly dust away that baking powder. But before I set the rest of my face, I really want to do my brows. I feel really naked without doing my brows. To grab a double-ended spoolie and makeup, makeup? angled brush to do my brows. So I'm just firstly combing them into place. So the brow product I'm going to be using is the Brow Sing. Brow Sing's what? Using Brow Zings in the shade three. So what comes in this little pack is, so it's got a powder and a wax and then like a little set of tweezers and two different types of brushes. So, I'm going to firstly just use the powder. So I'm just going to use the powder which is on this side. So now we are all up close and personal. I'm going to start with my brows. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the powder like so and start doing our brows. So that is my before and after of my brows using browsings and I like this color I have recently dyed my hair a little bit darker and I find this color super wearable even when I was really blonde I used to wear this color does anyone else have one brow they can nail in the other brow just does not work yeah that's me this brow is like my worst enemy I think I'm going to stop before I make them worse because it's just not working for me. But, not done yet. I am going to use, for the first time ever, and I'm so excited to use this, I'm going to use the Gimme Brow in the shade 3. So I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. So it just comes in a tiny little like spoolie applicator. And this is supposed to like add volume to your brows. I nearly said lashes. So I'm just going to grab this and oh my god I love it already. So now I'm going on with the final step of my brows. I'm actually going to be using the highbrow. So this is like a skin colored like highlighter for under the brow, I assume. So I'm going to give that a go and just pop that under my brows.
This is so creamy. Oh my god. I'm in love. Oh my goodness. Anyone else get super excited when they find a product they love? This is me right now. So I have zoomed you out again just because we are finished with my brows. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face and I'm going to use the Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. So this goes with the foundation that we used and I got this in the shade beige as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is super cute just like the foundation. So when you open it up you've got your mirror, powder and then you flip the compact up and then you've got like two different types of like you've got a sponge and a brush I'm not going to use these today I'm just going to use my normal powder brushes but it's a good little traveling like go on the go powder so to set my face I'm going to grab my Sigma large powder f30 brush to pop this all over my face so I'm just dabbing it in the pan and patting it on my face Moving on, I am going in with my bronzer slash contour and I'm going to be using what other than the Benefit Hula bronzer. This is a cult classic. If you do not have the Benefit Hula bronzer, you need to go get it now. Pause this video right now, go get it, come back, you'll thank me later. So I personally really, really like the brush that it comes with, which is this little thingy right here with a really light hand this time unlike my last makeup tutorial I'm going to take a bit of that around my perimeter and my perimeter and the perimeter of my face just to bronze up the rest We are moving on to their brand new blush. This got released the day I got it. I feel so privileged. It is... Can we just take a moment while I show you this blush? Now, this footage does not do its justice. It's like a peach color with like bronzy gold reflex through it. I don't know if you can see it, honestly. You need to see it in person. You need to get your hands on this if you can. So we're going to use that today. And I'm going to be popping that on with my Sigma Large Angled Contour brush. I'm just swirling my brush in this pan. And... Oh. Can you guys see that? Can you... Can you... Can you see? That is like a highlighter and a blush in one. Oh my god. Now I'm not usually one to wear like pink blushes, but can we just can we just take a moment to notice this sheen that we have going on on our face right now? Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't. Mm. Now we don't have a powdered highlighter. But I do have the What's Up highlighter. It just says What's Up on the packaging. Now, I don't know exactly how to use this. So, I have a feeling I was meant to use it before I set my face with powder. But, I'm just going to wing it. It comes with, like, the highlighter on one end. And this little, like, sponge thing on the other end. So, I'm assuming you, like, pop it on your face and then, like... Blend it out. We're gonna we're gonna have a go. <gasps> oh my goodness! Can you see that? They stunning. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I 
I'm finding it really hard to contain myself right now. Can we just? I'm going back in with my Hoola bronzer, grabbing it on a brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. And I'm going to pop this in my crease. I personally love products that are so versatile. Moving on to mascara. I've been waiting for this, guys. I'm using the trusty Roller Lash Mascara. Now, I'm a bit late to jump on this bandwagon, but I have been waiting to use this baby for months. And I finally got it. And I could not be more excited to use it. So, this is what the applicator looks like. So, it's like a curled applicator. So I'm just going to jump straight in and cover these lashes. Can you see that? Like this is just purely the mascara doing its thing. Yeah, I'm stoked. So I'm going to jump off camera and put some falsies on just quickly. I am going to use the I Spy Lashes by Danny Mansuri in the Style Luna. I haven't used these in donkey's years, but I pulled them out of my drawer and I was like, oh my goodness, I need to start wearing these again. I love them and they're so affordable. Anyway, I'm going to jump off. I'll be back in a sec. Oh my god, that took me like 20 minutes. I'm going to coat my lower lashes. Now again, because I don't have a lip product by benefit, I have to improvise and use something else, but because this turned out to be such a natural makeup look, I am going in with just a gloss, and I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in So Cute. And there you have the completed makeup look using majority of Benefit Cosmetics and like 99% of the products that I use today I have never used before so all my opinions are my own so if you did like this video please give me a huge thumbs up as it helps me out a lot and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss one of my uploads again so I'll see you guys in my next video bye